Yes, baby. Okay, what's that? Oh, this is beautiful. Thank you, mommy. Uh -uh. Hey, my artist. I sure you want to be an artist in the future. I want to be a doctor. Ooh, mommy's doctor. Okay, so let's name her. Let's name her. What do we name her? Um, Princess Sparkly here. Hmm? Let's see, Princess um, Twinkly Eyes. Right? Oh, Jesus! Princess, it's your own, it's your own pretty. It's your own. Kelly, what are you doing here? What are you doing in my house? How dare you barge into my house? You can't keep me away from my child forever. She's also my daughter. So now you remember that you have a daughter, Caleb. Of course, because you keep pushing me away. You never wanted me to be part of her life. Because you denied her. Caleb, you rejected her as your child. That's not true. Are you not tired? For Christ's sake, eight years is too much to deny me the joy of being a father. Get out of my house! No. Get, get out of my house! I don't know why you keep denying me from seeing my child. Um, okay. Um, uh, uh, Venita, I told you to go to your room. Uh, I'm fine. To and who is this man? I am your father. Venita, go to your room. Go to your room. Uh, yeah. Uh, go to your room. Kill it. Get it to my house. Leave. It's high time you stopped. It's high time you allow me to be part of my daughter's life. Um, this is no longer funny. Kill him. Get out. Get. Kill him. Get out. serious in my life. I will come back again and again until the right thing is done. Get out of my house, Caleb! Get, get out of my house! What is it? I thought I told you to stay in your room. Oh, what is going on? Who is that man? Is he my father? What's the meaning of this? Please go to your room, go to your room, go to your room. Mommy, but he said he's my father. Benita, I said go to your room. You know what? I'm not even in the mood for this today.
I mean, what is going on? I can't even imagine. Caleb just waltz into my apartment demanding to see his daughter. What? Well, after all these years. Ah, oh, God. And I've messed up. I've messed up. Like, I, I, I screamed at Venita. I, I broke a vase. What? No. This guy just makes me go crazy. He just, just makes me angry. You let him trigger you again. Why are you doing this? In front of Venita. Ah, God. Yes, Venita. She's in her room. Where did this machine pass? Have you cleaned it up? Baby, I'm so sorry I yelled at you. Me? Why are you so angry like this? And who is that man? Is he my father? Huh? No, no, no. He's a nobody. He but, is a nobody. But he said he's my father. And I'm telling you that he is not. Mommy, don't lie to me. Um. Okay. Okay, honey. Your father and I had issues. Big problems, eh? And then he left us. So why is he coming back now? Mm, please forgive him. Honey, he wants to take him away from me. Mommy, I'm not allowing him to take me away from you. Eh? Oh. oh, you know what? Um, sweetheart, let's just forget everything that happened today. Mm? Just remove it and throw it out of your mind. Have you heard me? Just throw it away. Mm? Just forget it. Moreover, Auntie Anna is here and she made your favorite. She's here? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Don't worry, I can see her. How are you? I'm not fine. Like, I don't know, he just, he just came in from nowhere and all the emotions I thought I had let go of just came rushing back. Like, I was so angry, I shouted at Venita, I, I broke a vase. Calm down. <sighs> you still feel resentment for him. Look, he was the delusional to think he can just waltz back into our lives and, and, and Claimed a daughter that he denied. So, how is Venita taking it? Not so well. She's curious. She wants to know who her father is. And what are you going to do about that? Look, I must protect my daughter at all costs. Really? Look, Venita is eight years old. And you won't be able to protect her forever. And your temperament. If this is the way you reacted in the sight of your ex, I'm sorry, you're yet to be healed. Carol, you need to let it all out. Look, I just don't want to name you my daughter. Period. That's what you want. What about what she wants? She will do what I tell her to do. For how long? I bet you it will be so long and you will be so disappointed if she goes behind your back to see this man. <sighs> okay, so what do I do? You may tell me what should I do? <laughs> the truth is, I can't tell you what to do. I can only guide you. But please, do not make a selfish decision. One step at a time. Please. All right. There's a lingering pain, a battle inside. I love them to disdain. We shared a love once pure and so true, but now it's tempted. There's a love I once knew. But beef. How did you get your house address? Honestly, I don't know. He just showed up out of the blue. Wow. 
something. Like, and the annoying part is that he was claiming I want to see my daughter. Which daughter? Really? Yes. What daughter? The same daughter he rejected. I'm telling you. Like, um, like, can you imagine? You made me drop out of school. You denied this pregnancy. My parents disowned me. I had to. I had to look for a way to fend for myself and my baby. Then all of a sudden, after eight years, you you now want to see your daughter. Don't do it. Just be yourself together. He's not getting anywhere close to the meter. Babe, I, I can assure you that. Babe, I am so pissed. Don't so worry, calm down. See, I'm right behind you. We'll fight through this together, eh? Thank you so much, babe. You're welcome, dear. <laughs> but can we stop by the mall? I want to pick up a few things for me later. Yeah, sure. Ah, <sighs> this is well. Our child, a precious gift. A love we both share. But the pain you cost. Makes it hard to be I stare into her eyes oh. So innocent and pure oh my I pray for forgiveness oh my As my heart endures What are you doing here? Jesus! What are you doing? Take Vinita upstairs and handle this Do you realize you can be arrested for trespassing? You just woke up one morning and I remember you had a daughter, right? Huh? And you expect everyone to receive you with open arms? It's been eight years. Where have you been? Who the hell are you, by the way? The same person that will kick you out of this house if you don't live respectfully. Look, you're a man like me. I'm not here to cause trouble. I'm just here to see my daughter. Spend time with her and I will leave peacefully. Clap for yourself. Cool story. Now, let me advise you, my brother. If this is your approach towards retrieving your daughter, then you're fighting a lost cause already. Have you ever come across that part of the Bible which says, No one commits to the Father except through me? Now, leave this house and never show your face here again. I should be the one to advise you to stay away from something you don't know how it started. You know me, I know you right now. I wouldn't want us to have issues. Alright? Get out of this place. <sighs> Just get out and never come back. Venita! Leave this place or I'm forced to push you out right now. Get out of this place! Venita! Get out of this place! Hey baby! Hi. Welcome! How did it go? She didn't let me in. Uh, why not? So baby, don't you think you should take this thing up legally? I mean... She's also your child. Vern, whatever her name is, she doesn't have the right to deny you access to your child. I know, I... I don't want to further help my daughter. I have missed out in so many stages of her life. I don't want her to see me and her mother fighting over her. I just want to take it easy, step by step, mm. till I get what I want. Well, it's obvious she doesn't want peace. Is it not best to give her what she wants? Yes. I mean, look at the way you're looking. Come on. This makes you so unhappy, and I don't like to see you this way. Yeah, I'm, fine. I'm okay. All right? You're sure? Okay, whatever the case is, just know that I'm rooting for you. Okay, baby, so just go freshen up. I'll make something nice for you. Alright, All right, so. So. We shared a love once pure and so true. But now it's tempted. This love I once knew created a bond so strong and deep. But now it's unraveling. It's hard to keep. 
the ones I roll so deep to heal. I struggle to forgive. I struggle to feel. What do you intend to do about your ex? Oh, he can break the gates for all I care, but he is not getting close to my daughter. No. Babe, that guy doesn't look like he's giving up anytime soon. See, if you ask me, mm -hmm. I think you should just talk to him. I feel... What are you saying? All I'm saying is, you guys should just reach a peaceful res resolution. Are you not bothered about what, what this is doing to Venita? Um, okay, uh, Samuel, can we change the topic? I don't want to talk about this again. Babes, I'm, I'm, I'm just trying to make a point. And I'm not interested in this point you're about to make. You're supposed to be on my side. Of course, babes. I'm on your side. I'm always on your side. See, all I want is a peaceful resolution to this whole fracas. Please. This guy is not coming near my daughter. He is not. Are you, are, you, are you angry already? I'm angry. Right, I'm sorry. I struggle to feel. I'm sorry. 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 Okay, I think this is really getting out of place. It is really getting out of hand right now. You need to speak with him. What did you say? Just hear me talk. Listen to me. I'm not saying you should give in. All I want is sit him down, hear what he has to say. This man is getting, uh, he's getting out of hand. Whatever he has to say, I do not want to hear. <sighs> Remy, please, you need to calm down. Yeah, I'm begging you. Please. Okay, um, I'm confused at this point. Why is everybody telling me to talk to this man? Why? Has everybody suddenly forgotten what he put me through? I literally took care of myself and my child without him. He abandoned us. I dropped out of school so I can fend for myself and my baby. I almost died giving birth. So what is he here for now after all these years? What? Huh? He told his friend that he cannot be with a short-tempered short-tempered short girl that he was just marking his time with me. Can you imagine? That's what what is he looking for now? That's why I want you to calm down. Please, uh, um, Anna, stop telling him to calm down. Stop it. I know all he has done to you, I know, but this man is trying to trigger you. Can't you see? You don't want Venita to see you like this, do you? I... No, you don't want it. This is what he wants. He wants you to be angry. He wants you tensed. He wants you upset. And you're giving in? I promise you, You know you can't always have your way, right? That closure you're running away from may be where your healing lies. I want to leave the country with my daughter. I want to go somewhere he won't find us. My dear, that is a temporary solution. Settle this once and for all. Listen, girl, you have such a sweet child. And that child of yours have a lot of questions buckled up in her heart. I do not want Caleb. Questions that you, Remy, are scared to answer. I do not want Caleb to get close to my daughter. And she can't get close to your daughter without getting through you. You are the source. And what you decide happens. Okay, you don't, you don't understand me. I do not want to communicate with him. I do not want... I do not want to talk to him. Then do it for Benita. You don't know how much she's been looking forward to this. She may not say it. Okay, you don't understand me. I do not want to see his face. 
I don't want to see Caleb's face. His face just reminds me of every emotion, everything I had let go of. His face reminds me of... No. It's okay, Remy. Stop crying. Why didn't he come soon? Why did he have to wait for eight years before coming? Why now? It's okay, all right? Calm down. Here. It should be all right, okay? Stop crying. I struggle to forgive. I struggle to feel. It's hard to forgive when you tore us apart. This was the reason why I did not want to meet up with him in the first place. The first thing he did was to insult me. Remy, this is why I keep telling you to calm down. How can you stop telling me to calm down? Can you? Like, look, if this guy gets a chance to speak to my daughter, he's going to badmouth me in front of her and turn her against me. I know it. Remy, you went physical. You're complicating things. You slapped him twice. It's like you're not listening to me. Your temper. For me, your temper. This guy is trying to manipulate you here. The few days he showed up, you have changed. Look at you. I think I'm going to keep Venita a little longer with me because I don't want her to see this. No. Get out. What? I said... Get out. Come on, babes. You, you need to calm down. You... Samuel, you too. Out. And make sure you have my daughter back here first thing tomorrow morning. Samuel, please leave. Leave. to forgive, I struggle to feel, it's hard to forgive, when you tore us apart, it shattered my heart, I'll try to say the same as God in the storms, but I'll find the strength. I see this guy now. He's just coming to my life now. Everything is just upside down. Now I'm the bad person. Makes it hard to be. I stare into her eyes, so innocent and pure. I pray for forgiveness as my heart. Can't be mad at me, Anna. I didn't mean anything I said yesterday. I was just, I was just in my feelings. And you shouldn't have brought Venita back. I, I didn't mean it. Remy, I am not mad at you. I am worried for you. You are gradually going back to your old self. I don't want this for you. Please. And everything is driving me crazy. And it's as if you guys are supporting him. Okay. You know I am with you on this. I know what you've been through. I don't want it to happen to you again. You know. My problem now is Venita. She cried all through the night, begging me to beg you to let her see her father. Please. I'm begging you, please. Let her see her father. Grant this wish for her. But what if he has an ulterior motive? Ulterior motive? Yes. Like kidnapping her, for instance. Then call the shot. Call the shot. Give him the time, date. Just call the shot. No, I don't I don't think I can do that. No. He doesn't even deserve to be a father to her. Okay. I'll let you think about this. Oh, <laughs> 
I'm still waiting for you to tell me why you were in my house. And how did you get my address? Well, I didn't intend for this to be a question and answer section. I obviously figured it out. And I would love you to tell me, how did you get Remy's house address? I thought as much. Look, I do not have all the time. Be fast and tell me why you're here. You're missing Remyo. You see, it's just funny how you just come out from nowhere and all of a sudden you want to reclaim a child you rejected. Point of correction, I didn't reject my child. Good. Let's assume you did not reject the child. It's been eight years. Eight good years, Caleb. Um, naturally, I was thinking you'd be a little bit remorseful, you know, come crawling, begging. You know, but obviously that is not the case. Man, I don't care what went down between you and Remy. All I care about is my woman. I care about her well-being. I care about her mental health and her safety. Okay. Well, I... I just want to be with my daughter. That's all I want. Yeah, Nothing drop, else. Drop your pride. Bring down your ego. I see you're a very manipulative person. You're trying to make her child hate her, right? I'm not manipulative. Remy has short temper. Wow. So you know. You know Remy has short temper. And you're bent on triggering her to get reactions, right? Tima, I've been dating that lady for three years. And in that three years, not once has Remy failed to manage her temper. I just wonder how she manages to lose it when it comes to you. What did you do to her? I did nothing to her. And I don't have any business with you. Like I said, I just want my child. Fair enough. But I must warn you. If you make Remy shed any more tears, you would have me to contend with. And I promise you, I'll come at you with everything I have at my disposal. You think so? Don't ever go to our house again. I don't want to see you in the house. I applaud myself for being calm. That shows maturity. I'm so... Were you able to speak with him? <laughs> no. Was it that bad? It was disastrous. Like, <laughs> I slapped him. No, 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 like that. So why did you have to slap him? If you were in my shoes, you would have done the same. He provoked me. Remy. Listen, I know you are angry, okay? I understand. But the truth is, you've moved on, but you're yet to be healed. Girl, this is the best time for you to let go of the past and be healed. See, I do not want to talk to him. I don't. I do not want to talk to him at all. You have and I've spoken to, to Benita and she's fine. She's not asking me about him anymore. So okay. everything is good. So because you think she's over it, you think that's it? Okay, what, what would you have me do? Since the first meeting didn't work, I may have to invite Caleb over to my office. I think I need to cancel you too. Mrs. Faith, I, I don't want to be in that situation. I don't want to. Girl, do this for your child. Do this for yourself. Let go of the past and be a free person. Fine. Good. Do I have you to write? We do. I struggle to forgive. Like I struggle to feel. You're going to be alright. <laughs> okay. Thank you. You're alright. <laughs> So, you're coming in, right? No, 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 no. I'm actually rushing to someone. 
child's innocence is caught in the storm But I'll find the strength My heart to reform Are you sure he's coming? Because we've been waiting for over 20 minutes here He texted me He will be here in time, okay? I'm so sorry for calling late. The traffic was terrible. Um, you're welcome, Mr. Khaled. Thank you. I sent an invite to you alone. Looks like you have company. Oh, yes. Um, well, she's... I'm here to make sure no lunatic puts a hand on my mind. Um, did she just call me a lunatic? That's what you are. Hey, come on. Don't, don't say that. Did she just call me a lunatic? I'm sorry about that. Okay. Are, 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 is there something wrong with you? Maybe there's something wrong with you. Please, I'm sorry about that. Please, please. Well, just calm down, all right? Mr. Callum, this meeting is between you and Remy. No third party, please. But let me tell you something. Make I clear up for now. I be street too. I be waffy babe. I know they carry last. I be Chris. I not normal. She be here. And if I finish with you, eh, your mind go dead. What is being like? Of course you're crazy. Please. Look where the person is. Who do you think she is? Stop. Now. You must be very sorry for making us this meeting. You should be ashamed of yourself. Okay, you can hear her cussing, yeah. right? No, you, you hear her cussing. No, and you want me to stop. Yes, Does that sound nice to you? You're stupid for making that kind of very foolish. You're very foolish. You are not a stupid for a mother. Nonsense. Do you need something to drink? I'm good. Mr. Caleb, what were you thinking coming to this meeting with your girlfriend? I'm sorry, I actually told her to stay back, but she refused. That just goes to show how dumb both of you are. I didn't even say that. Really? Because she also came with your man on the first day of the meeting. Yes, for security reasons. I have not seen him in ages and you think I will just show up like that, unprotected? Oh, really? Oh, yes. It's okay, it's okay, guys. It's okay. Please, calm down. Okay? You two just need to calm down. Please, can we just get this meeting over with? I need to leave this place. As I'm sitting down here, I'm so irritated. I'm, I'm close to this, this heartless man. Look, what did I ever do to you to deserve this hatred? I'm going to punish you on that stupid question you just asked me. Can you imagine? Like, don't you have any conscience, Caleb? Like, see him sitting here showing no remorse at all. Like, he gave me money to, to give back to his daughter and raise her. Look, but I was I was there for you when you were pregnant, but you told me to stay back. Five months. He showed up five months into my pregnancy. Five. And that was because his friend Timothy forced him to. Like, can you imagine? Caleb, you knew who my parents were. You knew how you knew how strict they were. Once they found out I was pregnant, they disowned me. I had to drop out of school. And mind you, I was in first year. I had to drop out of school. I had to hold everything that was going on for me. I just literally paused my life because I had to make money for my baby and myself. But this man had the guts to tell his friend Timothy that, that he, he can't settle with a short-tempered girl like me. That he's just using me to mark time. You say you came back to claim your child five months into my pregnancy. No problem. But you came just once. Yes, I told you to leave, leave my sight. I told you to get away. But why didn't you come back again? Why didn't you come back again and again and again until I accepted? Why? If you were really so passionate about being in your child's life, why didn't you come back again? I raised my child in a way that she didn't even, that she didn't care whether she had a father or not. Remy, that's not entirely true. Okay? But I'm not disputing the fact that some of the things she said happened. Okay. But we were both young. And of course she knows my family. 
my father was ready to kill me. Wow. I am not here to make excuses, okay? I accept my fault wholeheartedly. I wronged you. But I'm ready to take responsibility for my actions. Oh, I'm please. deeply sorry. I'm sorry. To hell with your apology. Look, I'm just here because my daughter wants to have her father in her life. That's all. Hmm. Um, I like that you both get to hear the peace of each other's heart. Okay? Now you know why she's so mad at you. And Remy, now you know why he did what he did. Eight years. Girl, that's so long. You are such a super And I need to applaud you. Take it up from here, please. Thank you. You know what? Look, please. Please. I don't want us to keep going on and on making excuses. I wronged you. Accepted. And I'm here to take responsibility for my actions. I'm sorry. Deep down, I am sorry for everything that happened. Please. Um, please. Okay. So that we don't keep this longer than it, it, it should be. It's okay with my daughter is such a way that she didn't miss your absence. You know what? <sighs> Fine. You'll see your daughter. But I will decide when and where. And you will not see her alone because I don't trust you. That's fine. Anyhow you want it, I am okay. Fine. Babel, I'm really worried about your child. I mean, is that the kind of woman that raised her? She's definitely going to turn out like her mother. Oh, look, I'm exhausted. Please. Don't talk about my child like that. Wait, so. Hey. Don't tell me you're beginning to develop cold feet. Have you reconciled with her? Isn't that the reason for the meeting in the first place? Sophia, please, I'm, I'm tired. Oh! I'm, tired. I'm, I'm really Sophia tired. now. Whatever happened to baby? So you now call me Sophia. <laughs> I hope it's not what I'm thinking, no. Because if it's what I'm thinking, trust me, heads will roll. And it will not be my head, though. No. You're quiet. How do I look? I think you look overdressed. I mean, it's just a lunch with your daughter, so it's not like I want to impress anyone, do you? I know, but just tell me is it nice or not? Just very simple. You look good. Please help me get the dog, please. Daddy's house. Um, wow. You're so beautiful. Yeah. All right. Where do I start? Um, I'm going to start from introduction. Uh, that's my girlfriend. I know her. I know who she is. Oh yeah, that, that's true. But you know, constant demands that I still make a proper introduction. Babe, that's my 
Remy, just Remy. Thank you. So my angel, that's Auntie Sophia. She's my girlfriend. Sophia, that's my lovely daughter. You're welcome, my love. How are you? I'm fine. Good afternoon, ma. Good afternoon. You look so beautiful. You look exactly like your dad. <laughs> You're welcome. She's so pretty. Wow. So, uh... Well, let me just fix something, the lunch. I mean, a lot of... No, no, um, we'll pass on the food. Thank you. You can just get us a drink. Maybe you should speak for yourself, because I think... Maybe the little girl is hungry, so... Oh, okay. I said we will pass on the food. Or are you dead? Well, let me just... Um... Did you hear that? Sorry for what? Listen, girl, listen. You are the most rude human being I have met in my entire life. I'm only trying to help you. You look starved. I'm sure so your entire village will never see better food. Sophia, Sophia. So I'm just is, trying to help your life. What is necessary now, Sophia? What is it necessary? Of course, you don't have to do See the idiots you have in your house. Can't you just act like you didn't hear nothing? You're using her to my daughter. Oh, please. This is not shut nice. Up. I said shut up. You know what? You are the most despicable, gold digging freak hey, hey, hey. I've ever seen in my entire hey, life. In you. fact, girl, you are a bitch. Insult me one more time and see what happens. You are a gold digging freak of a mother. I start. Hey, hey. Who do you think you're talking to? How dare you slap me? How dare you? Who do you think you're talking to? She doesn't look happy at all. And you, what is wrong with you? Isn't it that that lunatic that Caleb calls his girlfriend, Sophia or whatever her name is, that girl is a basket case. What happened? This girl had the guts to fight me. What? In front of Venita. Why? Oh, how would she do anything like this? Her day must have been ruined. Poor her. My day was ruined as well. You know what, babe? I'm I'm exhausted. I just want to freshen up and rest. Honestly. I'm very sorry about that. Thank you. Thank you. Why can't I have my moments? I... My stomach. What is happening to my stomach? I... My father is a handsome man. I wish he married my mom. My stomach. My stomach. Baby girl, I'm so sorry I ruined your day. Oh, you could have stayed. I know, but you saw how the whole situation was. Everyone was fighting each other, like... It was not a good place for us to be at. Okay, you know what? Um, okay, I'll reschedule, and then I'll have this, one, this meeting maybe in a restaurant, not at daddy's house. What do you say? Then call daddy. Okay, I'll call him. Thank you, Mom. For what? For letting me see my father and I am praying that you guys will marry each other. <sighs> Honey, um, your father and I have lots of issues. Hmm? A lot. And he has a girlfriend. And I also have someone in my life. Hmm? I've not been seeing Uncle Sam. Oh, that's because he traveled. But he'll be back soon. Okay. Okay. My baby girl. Try to repair. I struggle to forgive. I struggle to feel. It's hard to forgive. 
Daddy. Oh, baby. <laughs> How are you? Okay, I'll find strength. I bought you this for you. You're welcome, my angel. Hi, baby. I missed you. Hmm? Dad, next week Thursday is my birthday. Oh, really? <laughs> so, what would you want Daddy to get for you? Hmm? I want to spend it all day with you. Oh, sure, my love. No. Anything you want, you tell me that will happen. But first, I need to discuss it with your mother. Okay? Mm. Is that all you want for your birthday present? Yes. <laughs> I'm not sure. You want more gifts? Yes. Ah. <laughs> okay, all right. Yeah, take the gift to your room. Okay. I love you. Bye. Okay. I had an appointment in the neighborhood, so I stopped by to see you people. Okay, so. Well, I guess as usual, I'm not welcome, right? How are you guys, though? Good, good. I'll take my leave. Sure. Okay. That's okay. Oh. Yep. Thank you. You're welcome. Alright, bye. 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 Caleb, I do not like this unannounced visit. No. I'm sorry I came very early. Just that I want to be the first to wish you a happy birthday. Well, it's okay. And um, thank you for the other day lending me your car. Oh. I'm grateful. Come on, that's it's nothing. Okay, so do you want to go upstairs and see the better girl? Yes, please. Okay, let's go. Wakey, wakey. Wakey, wakey. Oh, please. 
Look how you are coming. Huh? I'm just supposed to be her godmother. My sister. Where were you since this morning? Traffic was crazy. Why should be so angry now? Of all this. You know how to appease her. You know how to appease her. Uh, yeah. I got something good for her. Let me see. Now for her, now she go show you. Ha. Okay. So, so very good is upstairs. Let me see her. Um, by the way, Caleb is coming over for dinner. <coughs> really? What is it really? We have to bring back to your goddaughter to No, but really, I think I like this. Thank you. I'm going to make a little bit of a Careful! I will! Daughter is the most beautiful good daughter ever. Look at you. You are so beautiful. Thank you. Um, I am sorry. I know I came late. It's because of work. And then the traffic will just not let me shine. I am very, very sorry. You know, I will always want to be the first to wish you happy birthday. What's this look on your face? Well, I am glad you didn't make it today because my dad wanted to. Be the first person to wish me happy birthday, and it did. Hmm. Tell me something. Your daddy was here today. Yes, and he bought a lot of gifts. Wow. And you like them? Yes. Okay. Well, this is mine. Okay. I hope you're not mad at me anymore. No, not mad. Are you sure? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Okay. Um, anyways, I, I'm supposed to be here for the dinner, but I don't think I can, because of work. There's something I need to sign, I need to bring plenty of money. Hmm? Don't worry, when the money will come in, see this, I'll buy plenty for you. Do you understand? Permission to go? Yes. Are you sure about that? Yes. Okay. Sometimes. Um, Benita, you can't ask him that. No, that, that's fine. I'll, I'll answer her. My love? Yes. I do miss you and your mommy. Not even sometimes, most times. Um, Caleb, you don't have to lie to her, you know? No. I'm saying the truth. You see, my love, back then in school, your mom and I, we are inseparable. We used to be popular couples back then in campus. So yeah, I do miss the both of you most times. You okay? Maybe it's your food. That reminds me. Why is your boyfriend not here? Um, no, he traveled. He traveled. I see. I wish, I wish everything could be my birthday. Why? Because I want us to be like this. <coughs> sure. Sure, we we can. I mean, um, uh, if your mother permits. 
Okay, um, table manners, people. No talking while eating, so eat it. Let's talk it. Caleb, you're just trying me. You're just trying me. I want to have a dinner with my daughter. That was what you said. And now you're not taking your calls. <laughs> I can't even try. Let me know if you people what I'm thinking because, oh God. <laughs> sure, this, this guy gave mine though. I they call you, I they call you, you know they pick my call. Tomorrow now you'll come back now, call the young fire give me. You know, but I say, I don't try you, I don't try for this guy, yo. <laughs> I'm saying, Monkey, they work, but they shop. Because I don't invest my time for your life. No, I'm saying, you go, they go, they say, they do dinner. The next thing I want to do two things. I don't know, Monkey, born to one die. If you tell me that story, it go bad for you. See, person, they speak English. Bless the person, I don't know what they do. What kind of stupid birthday dinner is this? Ooh, hey, hey, what are you doing? To clear the table? No, no, no. <laughs> I'll do that. No, Thank don't you. worry. What was that? I'm, no, I'm... you're my guest. So don't worry. I'll handle it. I'll handle it. Thank you very much, Doc. <laughs> okay. Let's have more. You don't. You have to assist her do the dishes, right? That's my girl. You want some? Okay, love. Um, let me go upstairs and change something. Yeah. Oh. Um, I'll be with you shortly. I'll also see you before I leave, okay? I'll come to see you before I leave. Okay? Hi, I love you. She needs to sleep. Come on, go with you. She's tired. She's had a long day. Okay, honey, maybe she should just tell you good night so she can go sleep. So okay. okay. Come tell daddy good night. Shortly, darling. Okay. <sighs> okay, so. Cry me. Thank you for having me. You're welcome. Um. Look, Remy, I. I know you're doing all of this for Vanita. I know you're still mad at me. I just want to know what can I do to soften your heart? Uh, okay, um, Caleb, um, 
please don't um act nice towards me. It feels weird. But I can't stop being nice. No amount of sorry can make up for the lost years. By the way, I'm proud of the woman you've become. I'm proud of the morals you've impacted in our daughter. You did so well raising her. Thank you. Thank you very much. You're welcome. I struggle to forgive. I'm deeply sorry for everything. I'm not asking you forgive me now. But I just want you to know that I'm very, very sorry. For everything that happened. I'm sorry for the way I handled it initially. Anyway, no excuses. I just want you to know that I'm sorry. Please. Find a place in your heart and forgive me. Um, you know what, your your girlfriend um is probably worried about you, so maybe you should get going. It's okay, I want to stay. I want to go to my room to spend more time. Okay. Why did you come back? You shouldn't have come back. Now, why didn't you sleep there? You should have slept there. Babe. Don't baby me. I mean, look at the time. It's past 12. Who goes out to a little girl's dinner or birthday dinner and come back by this time? Babe, come on. It's not just a little girl. It's my daughter that I haven't seen for years. Okay, so why Isn't weren't you taking... It's now a crime to spend time with her. You should have at least, at least answered your phone. I kept calling. I'm sorry, I didn't know my phone was ringing. You didn't know your phone was ringing and you expect me to believe that. Please, I'm tired. I, I need to rest. Please. So this is it now. Oh, God. You're tired. You need to rest, right? Of course, this is it. This is how it starts. You're tired, you need to rest. From going to your baby mama's house for a dinner to sleeping with her. To heal. I struggle to forgive, I struggle to feel. It's hard to forgive when you tore us apart. It shut my heart. Come in, the door's open. It's caught in the storm, but I'll find the strength. Hey, <laughs> hey, baby. Where's the baby girl? Where's Venita? Oh, and I thought this was for me. <laughs> no, this is, this is for Venita. She's upstairs. Okay. Oh, by the way, um, Caleb came over for dinner yesterday. Caleb was here yesterday? Yeah. And you're just telling me? Oh, well, I didn't think it was such a big deal, so... Oh, wow. Your ex comes to your house, spends hours with you, and you don't think it's a big deal? Okay, um, well, it was Renita's birthday, so she wanted to hang with her father. So, I didn't think it was such a problem. Oh, well, I don't want him coming here anymore. Okay. Okay, well... And please stop being friends with him. Hmm. Hello, jealousy, is that you? Yes, it is. But my full <laughs> chest. I don't want him coming around you. Okay, hmm? I hear you. I hear you. I hear you. 
Hmm? So tell me, what else happened yesterday? Nothing happened. They were just, you know, eating and they were talking amongst themselves. Are you sure? I was just watching. No. You're sure nothing happened? Mm -hmm. Don't you trust me, nothing happened. What happened? I heard the sound. What happened? What happened here? It fell down. It fell down. It fell down by itself, right? Just how, just look at how you've destroyed this. Venita. 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 I, I, are you playing with me? Wait, open your eyes. What is that? Venita. I just want you to go to the vessel. I was. I mean, I was. You did what? No, it was. I don't care. It wasn't intentional. I don't understand. I just. What happened? Babes, are you okay? What is it? What is it? Talk to me. Baby, get the car keys. What is happening? Talk to me. Get the car keys. We're going to the hospital. Hospital? Speed up now, baby, speed baby, up. Baby, 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 calm down. I'm, I'm going as fast as I can. This is not fast enough now. Baby, baby, just put yourself together. Nothing will happen to her. Oh just, God. just be calm. Oh God, please protect my child. Oh God, Benita. Benita. Baby, baby, oh, please. baby, please calm down. Baby, please, just be just. Just, I'm just, going, just. I'm going as fast as I can. Oh God. Oh, Benita. Oh, nothing, oh, nothing Benita. will happen to Benita. She's healthy. My baby has been okay up to until today. Well, the result carried out on her shows otherwise. Show, the result shows that two of her kidneys is damaged. How? How can someone be suffering from kidney disease without any symptom? That's what are you saying? We need, we need to act fast. She has just few weeks to live. How can we get it? Uh, any of our family members kidneys is compatible with Okay, doctor, take okay, my Sure, sure. Let's, take let's, let's go. Please, take my own. Oh, oh, my baby. Doctor! Oh, please don't talk to me. Tell me no. That will be your, that will be your child fighting so hard for her life in that hospital bed. And you pushed her for, 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 for just, for flower vest. I didn't push her. I just, I'm, I mean, I just pushed her a little. It's not, it's not like I meant to hurt her. The girl is sick. Oh, I, 
Was it sent from an ordinary push? You, mu you, you must be raving mad. You must be raving mad! Because you don't know what it takes to have a child! Yeah, insult me. Because you're heartless! I didn't know you're this heartless! See, you just need to stop painting me to be the bad guy here. You heard the doctor. Your child is sick! I didn't even beat her! I did not touch her! Are you mad? Don't you, you, you! Look, if you know what is good for you now, if you know what is good for your miserable life, go up there, pack your things, and leave my house! What do you mean by pack your things and leave my house? What did I do wrong? I mean, is it my fault that she looks so healthy on the outside, but she's very sick on the inside? You should be thanking me because I helped you realize that your child is sick. I didn't do anything wrong here. Please calm down. Just calm down. You know what? Just leave, leave me alone. Just leave me. Leave me. Leave me, God. I don't know what you're doing. What have I done? Please. I am begging you. Please. I don't want you to break down. You have to calm down. Please. God has never failed you. He will not fail you now. God, please. Stop. Please. It's okay. Please. Oh it's okay. It's okay. You just, just calm down. Hmm. Oh. I'm sorry, madam. You can't be able to donate your kidney. From the results here, it shows that you have high blood pressure. Okay, doctor, I do not have high blood pressure. Like, what sort of hospital is this now? Please take my kidney and save my daughter's life. Madam, if we carry out any operation on you, you may not survive it. I do not care. Take my kidney and save my daughter's life. Remy. Don't remy me. What is he saying? No, um, doctor, please. What can we do? And we need to be fast. Something needs to be done. Ah. Sorry, sir. It's God in the storm, but I find the strength, my heart to reform. Our child's innocence is God in the storm, but I find the strength, my heart to reform. Our child, a precious gift, a love we both share, but the pain you cast. Makes it hard to be I stare into her eyes So innocent and pure I pray for forgiveness As my heart endures I question how you go hurt us this way Turn between resentment And the love we portrayed For child's sake I'll rise above I'll find the courage to forgive and to love. It's hard to forgive when you told me. It shattered so my heart. It shattered my heart. Our child's innocence is caught in the storm. But I'll find the strength, my heart to, to reform. Our child's innocence is caught in the storm, but I find the strength my heart 
to reform. I'm ready to risk it all. I'm ready to do all these things for you to stay alive. I will try. I'll try to heal. I'll try to feel. I'll forgive. I must forgive for peace. It's hard to forgive when you tore us apart. It shattered my heart. Sorry for keeping your ladies waiting. Doctor, I want to donate my kidney. I do not care if I die in the process. Doctor, just save my daughter, please. I'm sorry, madam. There will be no need for that. As a matter of fact, your husband has donated this kidney. He did what? We are actually waiting for you to sign the necessary documents so that we can start operating on that. Doctor, please hold on. You mean Caleb has already donated his kidney already? Yes, madam. Okay, so we are the papers. understand the magnitude of what you've done for us. You've just saved our daughter's life. God bless you. I can't even thank you enough, like... How is she? She's doing great. She's recovering. Do you want to see her? Yes, please. Okay, I'll... Get the nurse to come, you know, check in there. Okay. So we can move you there to see her. Thank you. to do for my lovely daughter. Caleb, God bless you. God bless you. Like, you, you saved our daughter's life. Thank you so much. She's alive. Yes. God is good. Hey, Caleb, come in. It's so good to see you. Thank you. Uh, you didn't have to come all the way. Your wounds are still fresh. Ah, no, no, no. I just um, want to see my daughter. She's more important to me. <laughs> Both of you are important. So should I go get her? Yes, please. Okay. Hey, baby. Hey, daddy. <laughs> How are you? I'm fine. Do you still drink more water? Oh, why? Don't mind her, she's been taking enough water. <laughs> why did you say no? Huh? I missed you. I missed you too. Is there anything you want to tell daddy? No. How do you feel? I 
feel better than you. I feel great, but I'm an adult. Have you checked up on Caleb recently? Um, no. Why? Well, I called him two days ago and he was fine, so... <sighs> Remy, you should talk to this guy like twice or three times in a week. <sighs> like, Anna, <laughs> I don't want him to get the wrong impression or the wrong ideas, you know? I call... I text, I check up on him basically, and that's that. You don't want him to get the wrong ideas, like you don't want him to feel like you. Mm -hmm. But you're being, being selfish. Though. This is being selfish, yes. He is no longer with his girlfriend, you know. Who will help him out? You know how delicate your patient he did this? Well, I know. Okay, fine. Fine, fine. I'll call him and I'll find out how he's doing. And mm -mm. you call him, mm -hmm. you visit him. I'll visit him. Yes. Uh, and you will still cook. Yeah, he should have fruits, apples, like banana. Just give him something. Stock his fridge. I hear you. Okay. I hear you. You will do that, right? I'll do it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so how are you feeling? Uh, I'm okay. Nice God. Yeah. Um how was Vanita? Oh, Benita is good. She's good. So, have you had anything to eat? No. No? Yeah. That means I came at the right time. Because I brought food for you. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. That's so thoughtful of you. Oh, you're welcome. So, I'll just heat this up for you, right? Oh, yeah, sure. So, point me to the kitchen. Oh, that way. Okay. Yes, I'm working in Jiffy. so well when you're not a chef <laughs> well um the world has enough chefs already so i think they're good without me no of course they need you because what's this <laughs> this is so delicious girl thank you thank you very much and i must um, also thank you for you know coming around the thought matters. You're welcome. So, I, um... I heard you and Sophia broke up. Yeah. You heard right. I'm so sorry. No, it's fine. You <laughs> don't need to be sorry. Sophia is such a handful. And I can't let any woman come in between my daughter and I. Well, I get you, but Benita is okay now. She's fine. Hey. So you can call Sophia and patch things up. Can we stop? Enough of me, please. Let's talk about you. Okay. A boyfriend. I think he's a nice person. Oh, he is. Someone is amazing. 
He's so supportive. He's just God sent. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's lovely. Thank well, you. I'm happy for you. You already know I'm happy that you're happy. Yes, I do. And I want you to know that I'm rooting for you guys. Okay, thank you. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'll speak of the devil. Oh, One okay. second. Hey, babe. <laughs> oh, I'm at Caleb's. Are you good? What? Um, sorry. Um, I, I, I think I have to take my leave now. Is everything all right? Yes, everything is fine. Everything is okay. Um, I have to go. Oh, okay. Sorry, right. let me just... What, what, what are you doing here? Get into the car. I said get into the car. Just tell me the truth. Do you still love him? Baby, what kind of question is this? Don't play dumb with me. What are you doing at his house? Are you cheating on me? Hey, Jacoba. <laughs> this is not supposed to be funny. Baby, I don't understand why you're getting worked up. I did nothing wrong. I just paid him a visit. You paid him a visit? As, as what? No, tell me, you paid him a visit as what? Please reduce your voice. Reduce your voice. I don't want my, my daughter to hear you. Baby. I don't care who's listening. The moment you started being unnecessarily nice to Caleb, I knew so. I knew so. Hey, 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 stop it right there. Stop it. Someone, I don't have this nonsense. No. Ah! This is somebody that gave his kidney to save my daughter's life. If anything, you should be thankful. Ah! -ah. I told you I paid him a visit. He broke up with his girlfriend, so there is no one to take care of him. I paid him a visit to check up on him. So tell me. What happened while you were there? Nothing. Really, Samuel, nothing happened. You really expect me to believe this crap? No, you expect me to believe this. Okay, okay. Baby, believe me. I would never cheat on you. You know what? I think you both deserve each other. Yeah? What are you trying to say? Because... Samuel, are you breaking up with me? Baby! Baby! Stuff for you this past few months. But now it's I was thinking, it's I know I'm, I'm exhausted. But you know what? I'm just thankful so that my daughter survived that horrible. Oh my okay. god, God is in the tree. So, how is it going with you, Tamar? Tamar, yeah. <laughs> You're not speaking to us anymore. Well, what about happens now? Good. I think you and Caleb still have a chance. Uh, girl, this is the universe working it out for you too. I don't know about that. I don't, girl. As it is, um, 
done. I'm done with men for now. I'm taking a break. Honestly, I understand. I understand. It's okay. You know, one step at a time. Yeah, you'll be alright. You know, one step at a time. Oh my gosh. So. The pain you cost makes it hard to be. I stare into her eyes, so innocent and pure. I pray for forgiveness as my heart endures. I question how you could hurt us this way. Torn between resentment and the love we portrayed. For just sake, I'll rise above. I'll find the courage to forgive and to love. Oh. 